So, it's been a little while since my last factory devlog video, and I thought I'd update you all on how it's been going. So first off, visually, not much has changed, but we do have power now. Power system was quite tricky to implement. There are so many ways I could have implemented it, and I tried two or three before settling on my eventual method. I was originally going to have it, so buildings were either powered or they weren't. So, for example, they would be in the radius of something generating power, and if they were in that radius, they would have power. And that's kind of, I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. And this was, you know, Keeping in mind what I said in my first video, this project isn't going to be anything big and huge. That I'm trying to keep this as small and compact as possible. Just a nice low scope project, something to experiment with and try some things out ahead of making a bigger project. But this implementation felt a little bit too simple. So the next thing I tried was to check that a building was in the radius of a generator and that the generator had a production capacity and each building would put a drain on that generator. But the code route I went down was just so convoluted with each generator keeping a list of the connected buildings and then what happens if a building was in range of two Two generators, which generator would it draw from, what happens if I could get a bit of energy from both generators, and it just started going the opposite direction of simple and low scope. So in the end, I settled on the following implementation. We have a static power grid class, and this keeps track of all of the generators and all of the buildings in the game. The grid then has a capacity variable and a draw variable. If the draw is more than the capacity, the grid shuts down until it has capacity again. Currently, the distance of the generators to the buildings isn't taken into account, but I don't think that matters too much. But I figure if I do want to change this, I can just implement a method that checks if the building was, is within the radius. This is really hard to say. Building is within the radius. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Of any of the power generators in the power grid class. So this may be an expensive thing to do the more buildings and generators you put down. As you saw in that footage there, the first power generator I have implemented in to the game is solar power. For solar to work, I did need to implement a day-night cycle, so this allows the sun to set. Luckily, I've done this in a previous project before, so it's just a case of yunking that code and plugging it into this project. So here, currently, during the night time, your solar generators don't produce any electricity, meaning your machines shut down. But as soon as it becomes day again, everything starts back up. I have plans to add in wind power as well. Uh, this would increase the options for generating power, as the wind obviously does not care what the sun is up to. With power now done, I started work on the upgrade system, which will allow players to improve their output and advance their technology. It's pretty much complete, and on screen now is a little bit of a teaser, but more on that next time. So there we have it, that was the power system. Nice and simple, nice and quick, gets the job done. If you want to see that upgrade system, which again, I've already done, uh, I just need to write a script for that video, then hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like the video, you know what to do, just leave a little like to let me know. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. As always, I just want to thank my amazing patrons. In the 10,000 XP tier, we have Trey Briggs. And on screen now, you can see all of the amazing 4,000 XP tier members as well. Thanks a lot, everyone, for your support.